And we're going to build on what we've been doing the last few weeks, and that is exploring space, creating space, and then that creating the space then allows for stuff to happen. If there's no space there, if you're, you're not aware of the space, then you're not aware of, of the events that are occurring there, or you're at the very least, you're not gonna get as much out of it. So let's begin. Feet together. You can have the toes apart or together, whatever, or parallel, whatever you like. Step out with your left foot. Pivot. There you go. So the feet are now parallel. And let's establish the three pillars. Why? Because this allows us to remove the barriers to accessing that connection that we we're talking about and also allows us to shift quickly into a superconscious state. So feel your feet on the floor, feel the balls of your feet, feel the weight distributed throughout your feet, but your focus, your pivot point is right on the balls of the feet. Reach for the crown of your head and tuck in your chin. As you do that, you open the jade pillow gate at the base of your skull. Accessing the spirit of vitality, the Jingshan. Knees are unlocked, not bent much, but unlocked. Relax your lower back and allow your sacrum, your coccyx to reach to the floor and level out your pelvic bowl. Each time you make an adjustment, check again to make sure your central equilibrium is, is continuous. You feel the balls of your feet, reach with the head, reach with the crown. Keep going back and reasserting that central equilibrium. Point your index fingers, feel the energy in your hands. Feel that connection. Reach with your elbows. Elbows, arms are rounded slightly. Reaching with the elbows and opening the shoulder joints. I'm kinking the hose there. Release the quad. Allow yourself to sit down into your legs. Feel the energy in your hands, in your feet. And feel down through your feet. And feel the space below. Extend your awareness down, at least as far down as you are tall, as your body is tall. We'll take that a little deeper, but let's start with that. Just imagine a bubble there that extends down, that could contain your entire body if you, if you like. 
what we have here is we have the substantiality of Earth, and then we've entered the insubstantiality of this bubble there, this space. I want you to just think of, I do not want you to just think about that. I want you to feel it. I want you to feel the space in that solidity. And then I want you to feel the solidity or the substantiality in that space. So you get both of those going there. Feel your body sinking deeper as you get more comfortable with that space below your feet. Now feel the crown of your head. And I want you to feel a point in the space above your head, about six inches. There is an energy location there that some esoteric traditions consider to be very important. Some consider it to be one of the additional chakras. It doesn't matter. What matters is that when you reach up here and you locate that point and you reach up with your crown to that point, you're establishing a relationship to something beyond your physical form. You're creating space above you. You're reaching to that. You're establishing a relationship to that space. And as you do that, you want to maintain your connection with the space below you. As we move into that insubstantiality, the space above us, it opens certain gates that allow for energy and information to enter. They're not accessible to the eye of mind. The labels that I've just given them are not really all that important other than just something to talk about. What's important is your relationship to it. You're feeling into that point above you. Feel into your into your body and it will give you some feedback about this. You're probably gonna notice your hands getting quite um, lively. Your perception of your body may alternate between substantial and insubstantial. You may feel it as a density or you may feel it as space. And both are true, depending on whether you're perceiving the yin or the yang, the insubstantial or the substantial. And in the superconscious state, you get to have both. Extend your awareness even higher. Establish a space 
the size of your body above your head. Create an insubstantial space there that you can then occupy. Feel the space below your feet, feel the space above your head. Feel them connected through your physical form. Now, our capacity to establish relation is directly related to our ability to reach. That is, anytime we reach, we're extending awareness with a specific intent. The reaching implies extending, but also implies extending to connect, not to push away, but to connect. So feel yourself expanding even farther. Let's take it down two body lengths and up two body lengths. Feel yourself occupying that space. So you're reaching into an area that maybe you don't occupy that space all the time. Maybe it would be impractical, but you're in a safe environment right now, so you get to explore that. Just to see what energy and information that brings you. That quality of reaching is what gives us any kind of Qigong exercise you do, or Tai Chi Chuan, or any kind of internal martial art. We're not just doing particular memorized set of movements which are designed to produce a certain physiological effect, although they do do that. But what's more is by extending this quality of reaching into it, we then allow for a connection to the heaven and earth energies that can transform even the simplest exercise into a very powerful spiritual encounter. <laughs> 